This is a good spot over here. <sighs> Got my young son with me. Yeah, g'day Bush Camping Tools here. Well, uh, as you've just seen, we're at one of my favorite spots out in the mountains. Got a bit of a camp area here. But really today I've come up to the mountains to review this knife here. Let me just get it up and show you. This is something new and I'm really excited about. This is from uh, Tanev Family Knives TFK. Let's have a closer look at it. TFK in Bulgaria. This is a, um, a two brother company. Been making knives for the last six years. This is their model, the T8. And, uh, in it's a cobalt enhanced stainless steel, if you don't uh, know, Bowler's N690. And it's been cryo uh, treated too. It's a beautiful knife. What can I say? It's four millimeter thick spine. Can you see that there? Uh, G10, grippy G10 scales. This is a top dollar knife. Extremely well made for the outdoors. And in a minute, I'm going to, if you just point over there, I'm going to make a bit of a smooth spot on here with this knife so we can cut up some meat with this. Just going to clean up a bit of a spot here just to cut some meat up on something flat and clean and uh that's good enough i think got three potatoes okay Okay, so I've got a few potatoes here. I'm going to fry these potatoes. Bit of a mountain picnic. Now, the great thing about this knife, the T8, four mils is just ideal. Four millimeters thickness is ideal for food prep. You see, it's, it's a strong blade too, okay? And uh, you want to be able to prepare food. You know, we're hiking. Up here in the mountains, I, uh, you need to eat, right? All right, just cut these off there. Okay, you got a big chunk of pork here. We're gonna cut some of this up. Just effortlessly. Got some salt and some sweet pepper to marinate this. Now, how did I bring this up into the mountains? I had about nine and a half kilos on my back. Most of it's water, actually. Um, so I didn't uh, pack speed full, but this is still quite cold. I froze it uh, at about 10.30 last night. It's now, uh, what time is it now? It is um, about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. So I... And I took it out of the freezer at about 9 o'clock this morning uh, and just left it in the fridge. So it would be, um, it, it's just, just slightly frozen, okay? Slightly frozen. Let me just put this over here, all right? Slightly frozen. So it stayed fine all day. A bit of lichen on that, that won't hurt. So the T8, you can just see, you know, it's very easy to prepare food with out uh, here. It's got... A uh, very good comfy grip. It's very comfortable in the safety grip. Let's just have a look at this.
That'll do. Deadly sharp grind. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I was just going to see how this feathers. And of course it does, this is a bit of very old uh, beach, whoops, it's, it's so birch actually, it's really old, let's, beautiful edge. Easy peasy, let's have a look at that, look at that, can you see that there? So let's talk about the specs of the knife here now, as I said, G10 scales. Uh, the blade from here, from the uh, hilt to the tip, is 135 millimeters in length, and the actual cutting edge here is uh, 130 millimeters. Okay, uh, I'll put up in the in the uh, description the full-on specs, the weight with the scabbard, and that it's barely, you know, it's not a particularly heavy knife whatsoever. Uh, there's a good look at the spine there again. That's a nice thick spine, but not too thick. And as I said, you can see here, uh, it, 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 it feathers really well. No problems with that. Okay, I just found this down here. Let's have a look at this. These are uh, good mushrooms. They're a bit eaten out, but they're, they're dry. Let's have a look at this one. These bolitas. This one's okay. You see that there? That'll be okay to dry out. These are these are okay dried. Here's another one here. It's a bit eaten out, but we can dry those and they're good for soup. So I wish I found them earlier on. Here's another one here there. These are really dry already. And uh, just put some salt on this. This should be really good. That'll do. Cap that. Chuck that back over there. Right, let's get the stove set up and we'll get cooking. All right. Put a bit of oil in here. Gonna have the pork with lichen by the looks of it. It doesn't matter, I just got a few wild berries. Okay. Thing about these uh, multi fuel stoves, they're uh, more like stir fry. This is what happens when you don't bring a uh, pot thingy. Oh, boiling away perfectly. All right, so I want to summarize now about the TFK T8, the Tanner Family Knives uh, T8 model in N690, Bowler's N690. There's nothing not to like about this knife. Uh, it's very well finished. The finish is perfect. Beautiful satin finish on the N690, uh, extremely sharp, very useful around the camp as you can see, as you've already seen here. Uh, you know, you can gather some food with it, some mushrooms, do a bit of uh, woodwork with it. Uh, it comes with, the T8 comes with a full grain uh, cowhide scabbard. It's glued and stitched with a last construction, so there's a chunk of leather up between the stitching there. Very good stitching. Uh, it's a semi-deep carry, so, you know, it sticks, you know, about five centimeters above the scabbard there. And I'll just take it off so I can show you. Have a look at it here like this. Okay, so as I said, you know, it's stitched very well. It's full grain uh, leather. They use leather from Italy and Turkey. And, of course, Italy and Turkey are famous for leather production. So it's got a regular belt carry here. There's a, a big steel D-ring here, and you've got... On here a dangler loop it comes with a dangler loop it's not an additional extra that just comes out like if you don't want it on there you can just do a traditional belt carry on there like that like that there okay it's a partially skeletonized tang there's a 
hollowed out, little hollowed out section here and here between the two bolts, but it's mostly steel in there, but it's got the right balance. It's, uh, you know, let's just look where the balance, point of balance is. It's about there like that. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier on, very grippy milled G10 scales there. The T8, this one's in N690. They're manufacturing in AEBL, uh, German D2 and N690. Good fit. What's, to, what's not to like about it? Let's have a look at it. Let's have a bit more of a closer look now. 